Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca Louise. Are you ready to work your body? Yes, the answer is we're going to be working our calves, our abs, our booty, our arms. We're going to get a total body workout. You're going to feel amazing afterwards. So I want everyone to give it 110%. We're going to start off with a nice little light warm up. So we're just going to get our body started, get that oxygen to the muscles. Just give me a nice light jog. I want to get that heart rate up. Okay, we feeling good today? Feeling strong? Okay, let's take it into some star jumps. Arms all the way up to the top, or as you call them here, jumping jacks. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it back into that jog. And we're gonna take it back into some more jumping jacks. Okay, we're just doing this. A warm up is super important. We don't wanna go straight into exercises and feel that burn, because we wanna get our muscles nice and loose so that we don't injure ourselves. Okay, let's give me 10 more. Eight, six, five, four, keep it going, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna have a nice stretch, legs apart, and we're just gonna go over to one side and then just keep switching. And then inhale and exhale. Really important, the whole time that you're working out, that you are breathing, okay? Because this is what happens. If you don't breathe, you're gonna stand up, you're gonna feel dizzy. Okay, ready? Let's switch, stretch out those quads, hold it tight, and give those quads a nice stretch. If you need to, you can use a friend, and switch over to the other side. Hold that tight, stretching out those quad muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just rotate those shoulders round, nice and high up to the ceiling, all the way round. Go on, really stretch for me. We're gonna be really pumping our bodies today, so we gotta make sure that we're nice and warmed up. And towards the front. Okay, are we ready to work those legs? Give yourselves a little shake. Make sure that you've got your water close by because it's super important to keep yourself hydrated. We are gonna start off. We're gonna do a lunge backwards and we're gonna take it into a high knee, starting with your right leg. So take it back, come up to a high knee. Now as you bring your leg back, I want you to go almost as if you're gonna to touch the knee to the ground. And as you come up to standing, you've got to squeeze those abs to help support your balance. Good start, everyone. Come on, let's keep it going. Breathe. Nice and slow and controlled. Are we ready to work it today? Are we ready to see those results? And breathe. Five, four, three, Give me two more. Bring that knee up higher. And one. Okay, switch over onto that left leg. Give yourselves a little bit of a wiggle in between. And let's take it back. Squeeze. Nice, slow and controlled. Keep that back nice and straight. As you get to the top, think about really engaging those abs. It's going to help with your balance. Oh, good. You don't realize it yet. We're going to feel amazing after this workout. You're going to get a total body workout that's designed to work out those glutes, your tummy, your abs, and your legs. Three, two, give me one more on this leg. One, okay, give yourselves another shake. We are going to do 180s. You've just got 12 reps. So every exercise we're doing is just for 12. So you've got to really push it every single time. We are going to jump to the back and then front, okay? You've got 12. One, two, three. Nice and low. Give me a squat in between. Switch those legs. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Okay, so my next exercise is one of my favorites. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge. So similar position where we were before, we're just gonna bring one leg and the knee is almost gonna touch the ground. So all the way down, we've got 12 of these. You can either put your hands on your hips or bring them out to the side. Let's go all the way down. Nice, slow and controlled. 
Wave to my queen if you want to. You can borrow mine. I'm English, so I'll let you have her for the workout. Keep it going. Give me two more. And the last one. Down we go. Okay, straight into the next exercise. No rest. You're going to put one leg behind the other. You're going to lift up. I don't want you to put that toe on the ground, okay? If you want to modify it, you need to make it easier. You can rest your, your foot down just like this, but if you want to make it harder, you're going to keep that leg up, okay? Let's give me five more of these. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do it on the other leg. So as you can see, I'm going to do 12. You can either rest the leg down or to make it harder, bring that leg up. It's going to be really good for your balance, improve those quads and your glute. And breathe. Come on, squeeze. See if you can do it without that touch in between. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go back into those 180s, okay? And then we're going to get ourselves hydrated. So just give me 12 more of these. You can do it. 12. Jump. Go nice and low in that squat. Come on, accelerate, lift up high. Give me some power. If you need to modify it, you can just do a squat either side. But what I really want you to do, I really want you to jump it. We've just got a few more to do. Breathe. Good job, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. That one's a tricky exercise. If you manage to do that one, a big thumbs up. Now, you've got your water bottle next to you. I told you at the beginning, super important to keep yourself hydrated. Because what happens is, when we sweat, we lose all the nutrients out of our body. We lose the water and we have to replenish it. So, number one, you're when you're working out, keep yourself hydrated. Oh, yeah, now I feel much better. Okay, you ready to go into the next exercise? I'm going to be working those calves. So slight bend in your knee. We're going to go up for 12 pulses. I don't want you to touch your feet, your heels on the ground, okay? So really use your abs to pull you up to keep you nice and secure. Four, three, two, one. Now stay at the top. We're going to do quick 12 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Okay, straight to your next exercise. Just like we did, we put our leg to the back, we're gonna keep it to the side, okay? Nice, tall back. Lift your leg up and down. If you wanna modify it, again, you can put your toe on the ground, but if you wanna make it harder, just bring it up. And each time, see if you can just lift it a little bit higher. Use your core. Focus on something straight ahead of you. Three. Two, go on higher, you can do it. One, straight onto the other leg. Bring it up, focus on something. One side is always gonna be easier than the other. So you just make sure that the side that you find harder, you just gotta give it that extra 10%. <sighs> Squeeze, come on guys, we can do this together. You've just got a few more to go. Two, one. Next exercise, I know your legs are burning, but this is the time where you really are gonna work your muscles. So we're gonna go into a squat and we're gonna lift it up, just like we did without the squat. <sighs> Breathing. Now when we keep using the same muscle over again, you can really feel it working in their legs and your glutes. You want that perky little butt? I'm trying to improve mine too. So let's do it together. <sighs> Three, <sighs> two, Go lower in your squat. Come higher as you get up. One more. Straight to the other side. No rest. Breathe. Come on, you can go lower than that. Give me a little bit lower just each time. Push your body. See how far you can get yourself to go because I bet you can get further than you think right now. Excellent job, everyone. Stay with me. Five, four, lower, come on. Three, two, last one. Make sure you're making it count all the way up and release those legs. Okay, everybody loves doing squats for their butt and we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do narrow squats, okay? So your feet are gonna be hip width apart. We're gonna go down for 12, all the way 
way to the bottom. And as you come to the top, squeeze those glute muscles. You want to be working them. There's no point doing this exercise if you're not engaging your muscles, because you're not going to see results. You're not going to sweat. Squeeze as you get to the top. Harder. Five. Four. You got this. Three. Two. Last one. Now come down. You're going to pulse for 12. Nice and slow. I know it burns, but it feels so good. Keep it going. Nice and slow. The slower you do it, the harder it is. I know you can feel the burn in the calves and in your quads and in your glutes. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a stretch on those quads just because we've been really working them, so I want you to stretch it out. So just take one leg, hold it up by your side, nice and tall, and stretch that quad out. And let's take it over to the other side. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling your legs are getting a good workout in? Awesome. Let's work on that booty. So, your next exercise, the Romanian deadlift. We're not going to use any weights for this. If you do want to make it harder, you can increase it by using a weight. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your left leg back, your right leg back, and we're just going to drop down and then come up. You've got 12. See if you can touch the ground. Now this is really going to help your core. It's good for your balance. You can have a slight bend in your knee. And then as you come up, maybe right now you can just do three, and eventually you're going to be able to do 12. Keep it going. Five. Four. Can you feel it in those quaffs? Yes. Three. Two. And the last one. This is definitely my weaker leg. How I get to swift onto my, my better leg. Let's go for it. We're going to do 12. One. Two. Three. Squeeze those abs. Four. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. Keep your concentration. Breathe, remember. I know it's painful, but no pain, no gain, as they say. Keep it going, guys. Three, two. Yeah, this is definitely my stronger leg. You're going to find that too. You're going to have one that's going to be a lot easier than the other. So as I said, just work even harder on that other side. Take some water in. Really important to keep hydrated. Whew. You feeling good? I'm feeling rocking. Okay. Are you ready to burn that butt? Awesome. Coming down to the ground, we're going to do everything using our right leg first, and then we're going to switch over to the other side. So you really are going to feel the intensity and feel the burn. So I want you to bring your leg forward for 12. Okay, now the first few times you do this, you're not going to be feeling anything. But I swear to you, once you've done this whole section, your butt is going to be on fire. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Okay, bring in your knee in. You're going to open it as if you're doing a fire hydrant to the side. Keep it going. Keep your chest up nice and tall. And then really think about engaging that glute muscle, okay? Keep it going. Squeeze. Use the glute to pull you up. Repetitive. You keep doing these actions. Four, three, two, one. Now can you feel your butt burning? Great. We're going to take it back for 12. Excellent job, everyone. If you can feel it burning, you're doing an awesome job. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to take it a circle front ways. Now, if you're not feeling it, you need to really think about engaging your glute muscle. Really squeeze it. Hold it really, really tight. So if you're squeezing your glutes together, two, one. Okay, back round the other way. You can feel it now. Now it's really starting to burn. Excellent work, everyone. We're going to do one more exercise, and then we're going to take it over to the other side. Four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it in. We're not having any rest. You've got to do this all in one go to really feel the burn. Bring that knee in. Keep it going. Squeeze those glutes. Come on, guys. You've got this. There you go, awesome. Your butt's gonna look in those tiny shorts. Two, one. 
Okay, let's switch over to the other side. We're gonna do exactly the same. You're gonna really feel that burn in your butt. Okay, so remember the first one we did? We're gonna take it forwards for 12. Keep your chest up. Engage those glute muscles. Don't think about using your legs to move it. Think about using your butt to move your leg forwards and backwards. Come on, you've got this. Two, one. Okay, those fire hydrants to the side. Lift your chest up nice and high. Open the leg so that the knee is facing to the sky. And squeeze those glutes. I know it's hard, you just keep forgetting, but you've got to hold on to them tight. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go forwards. Forward circles. Using the glute muscle to move your leg. Okay, so just think about your leg being like a dead weight and you're just going to use this muscle right here to move it forwards and backwards into a circle. Okay, we're going to go back the other way for 12. And everything is just for 12, guys. So you just keep, on mo keep yourself motivated when you keep changing the exercise, but you're still going to get that total body workout. <sighs> Few more. We're going to take it back in two. One, okay, back the leg goes. So you just want to keep the leg extended and then take it to the back. Again, using the glute muscle, remember, to take you back. Squeeze. Good job, everyone. How are we feeling? Feeling like our butt is working? Yeah, me too. Keep it going. Two more. Now this is the real one. We're going to bring the leg into the chest. You're going to really feel it now. The first bit is just like a warm up to get your glutes working. And then you really feel the burn. Use the glute to squeeze you in. Breathe in, five to go. Three, two, you got this. Last one and extend. Okay, gently come up to standing. Okay, let's work on those abs. And when you come down to the ground, we are going to do mountain climbs. We're going to do it nice and slow. So get yourselves in a good position, your arms out straight in front of you, and we're going to bring our knee into the chest nice and slowly. So keep those tummy muscles engaged. You're also going to get a workout on those arms, but really concentrate about keeping your body in nice, straight form. You feeling good? Let's work on that six pack. Breathe, everyone. Give me two more. And the last one. Okay, stay on this side. We're going to go right over to the side. And we're going to bring the left leg into our chest, okay? So 12 of these. Extend the arm out. Bring it in. Extend the arm all the way over the top of your head. Squeeze those oblique muscles. You're using those side muscles. Really breathe. Keep it going. Just five, four. You got this. Three, two, and the last one. Stretch it out. Switch over to the other side. Come on, we're going to do the other side just as well as we did the first side. So arms up and bring that knee in. One, two, three, four. Keep it going, guys. You've got this. Stay strong. Don't give up now. You want to do the other side just as well as you did the first side. Keep counting. Three, two, last one. Okay, bring it down. So I want you to lie down onto your back. I want you to put your legs into the air and you're going to imagine that you've got a ball on top of your legs, okay? And you're just going to be pushing it up and down. Put your hands underneath your bottom and push up. We've got 12. See if you can get nice and high. Now we're working out those lower abs. Now the lower abs are the hardest part of our body to work out, okay? So if you're finding that is your problem area, then don't worry, it happens to everybody. Keep it going, give me one more. Now we're gonna keep our legs here and we're just gonna drop down nice and slowly, bring our knees into the chest and up. That's one. So the slower you can do it, the harder you're going to make it for yourself. And up we go. Slowly down. Come on. You can do this. Work those lower abs. And I always say, abs are made in the kitchen. 80% of what you look and feel like is down to nutrition. 
So it's super important that you're eating right and exercising because that's when you're going to maximize your results. Whew. Keep it going, guys. Just a few more of these to go. See if you can do it even slower. Excellent job. Up we go. And low down. Whew. Come on, slower. Keep it going. Hold it there. Whew. And breathe. Keep it going. Just a few more to go. Whew. Legs extended up. Keep them nice and straight. Now you just want to bring it to about two, three inches off the ground and then bring your knees in. Three, come on, we can do this. We've just got two more to do. I'm going to get these ones even slower. Stay with me, everyone. It's going to be worth it in the end. One more. Okay, and when you get down here, I want you to hold it. And we are going to pulse for 12. So 12, 11. I know it hurts. Come on, you can do it. Stay with me. It's worth it. I promise you. You're going to get those abs. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Next exercise. Bring in your legs, your feet to touch the ground. And what I want you to do is sit up and you're going to twist and you're going to come back down. That's going to be one rep. Now, the first time you do it, you're going to have to adjust your legs a little bit because you're not going to know where your legs need to be until you come up. So just do a practice one. So come up, double check, that's where your legs need to be, and then come down. Okay, let's do 12. Twist those abs as you get to the top. Now if you need to, or if you're doing this workout with a friend, you can always get someone to hold onto your feet or tuck them underneath your chair in your living room. That's gonna help you keep your legs on the floor because if you're a beginner, your legs are gonna tend to come off the ground and that's absolutely normal. You're gonna be able to progress up and you're just gonna be able to use your abs to bring you up. Come on guys, push, twist as you get to the top. The more you twist, the more you're working those oblique muscles. Bring it up. Four to go. Engage those ab muscles. Use your abs and not your arms, okay? So come up, use the abs, even if it takes you slightly longer. Slowly down, Do, give me one more. And twist all the way around, and then gently, slowly come down. This exercise is best to do after you've done a couple of ab exercises, because then you're gonna really feel the difference, okay? So you're gonna do push-throughs. So I just want you to lift your shoulders, off the ground. Try and keep your feet flat on the ground. They're gonna try and hover, but use those abs. I want your whole shoulders to come off the ground. Really squeeze. Come on, guys. Three, two, oh, squeeze and down. Okay, coming up, I want you to get yourself into a V, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do reverse crunches. So extending your leg out and bringing them in. You should really be feeling the burn in your belly, okay? It's going to be hurting. You're going to feel the pain, but it's going to be so worth it. Just think about what your six pack is going to look like in your bikini or your swim shorts. You're going to look amazing. Just a few more. Three, two, chest up. One. Now hold it here. Pulse for 12. One, two, three, four. Chest up. Six, seven, eight, nine, I can feel it. 11, 12, and relax your legs. Okay, let's stretch out those abs a little bit. So come over. I just want you to do a nice cobra stretch. We're gonna just stretch up here and hold it here for 10. Breathe in and exhale. Super important to stretch after we've, we've been working those muscles so that we don't injure ourselves. Okay, your last ab exercise. We are gonna start in a plank, and then I want you to come into downward dog. So we're gonna keep moving. We've got 12 of these. Come back to your plank, and then back into downward dog. So when you're here, you're gonna be stretching out those hamstrings. As you come down, you're gonna engage those ab muscles and have a nice neutral spine. So this is your rest period. You're gonna have a quick stretch, and then you're gonna use your abs and your arms to hold it here. We are feeling good? We are feeling pumped? Yes, I'm feeling good. I'll tell you what, exercise really does get your adrenaline going, makes you feel good inside. 
It works your body, works your mind. So it's really good for your overall health. Keep it going. We're almost done with their abs. But they're gonna go on and work those arms. Five. That's it, nice, slow and controlled. Don't rush yourself. Four. Squeeze those abs, engage them. Three. Give me two more. Come on, you can do it. Push it all the way. Make this last one count. Stretch out and then drop down to your knees and then stretch out those arms. Okay, so that last part, we're working out our abs. Next part, we're doing our arms. So that's a good exercise to get us from working from our abs into our arms. Okay, so just warming up those arms. So just give me a nice stretch here. Inhale and exhale. Rotate those shoulders. Let's get ready to work those arms. Okay, let's work those arm muscles. We're gonna be working those triceps. So on your hands, be facing your feet. We are going to dip down. We're gonna walk out. We're gonna dip down again, and then we're gonna bring it up. That's gonna be one. Okay, so really think about squeezing your elbows in towards your, towards your body, okay? Now don't touch your booty on the ground. Just a light tap and then extend. If you're finding this too challenging, you can just go up and down like this, but let's see if we can do it the harder way. Come on, guys, we've got this. Keep it going. Extend out. Dip all the way down. Give me two more. Extend. Dip. Bring it back in. Last one. And dip. Okay, over onto our front. We're going to do the standard push-up, okay? So really are working the shoulder muscles and our arms. Now I'm gonna give you two variations. You can either do it on your toes or you can put your knees down. So let's all try and at least get one or two in with our feet up onto our toes. So we're gonna do 12 push-ups. Keep it going. Stay nice and strong. Four. Five. Keep breathing, remember. Six. Seven. Over halfway. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, come on, push, 12, straight onto your side. I'm gonna do a side plank. You've just got two exercises left to go with your arms. You can do this. Bring your leg up, and we're just gonna extend one at a time. So we're gonna be working those ab muscles. We're gonna be also using the strength in our arms. So nice and long body, okay? If you're finding this too challenging, you can just hold the plank and don't move your leg. But let's see if we can really push it. Come on, this is the last exercise. You just got a few more to do. Breathe. Two, one, and come down. Other side, straight up. 12 to go. Breathe. One, two, count down with me if it helps. And then you just know you've just got a few left. Five, six, Seven, breathe, pull in those abs. Eight, nine, ten, two more. And release those legs. Whew. How do you feel? You feeling good? Feel like you've had a total body workout? Whew. Well, I certainly do. Now, it's super important after you've done ex any exercise that you cool down. So just gonna give you some nice stretches just to stretch out those muscles. So lean over to one side for me, stretch out that inside thigh. And let's just breathe. Oh, I feel good, hey guys? You staying motivated? You feel good? And burning your abs and your butt and your, your glutes, everything just feels amazing. Feels super tight. Now I just want you to go down, put your head between your legs. And we're just gonna go over to one side. And as far as you can get, if this, is your, if this is your maximum range, that's great. And over time, you're just gonna feel yourself getting more and more flexible each time you do the workout. Move back to the middle. And then come over to the side. Okay, now your muscles, after you're working out, they feel super tight, okay? And when you are working out, you're breaking all the muscles. And what we need to do to make them stronger for next time is to get the right nutrition inside us. I always have this after I've worked out, just some powder and some water. I mix it up. Anyone can do this. It's so easy. Whew. And I need some as well. Oh, 
It tastes good as well. It's super important that you have a post-recovery meal if you want to get stronger for next time, if you want to keep your muscles intact, and you want to build, get lean, it's super important, nutrition. Let's finish off by extending our arms up, taking it all out to the side, nice and high. Stretch those arms up. And we worked out those triceps. So one arm over the top of the other. Inhale and exhale. Take it over to the other side. Keep breathing, everyone. So important, even after you exercise, you need to make sure that you're keeping your body hydrated because that is exactly what keeps your body moving. We gotta keep you guys efficient. It's been super fun working out with you guys. My name's Rebecca Louise. Make sure you check back again soon.